I'm trying. You're not trying. I am. Ow! Stop! I, what do you mean doing? stop? I'm not doing trying. anything. You want to go home? Unlock the door so we can. You're dead. Get your get I your. I'm scared. I'm scared. Don't don't. Oh. Oh. With fewer people going into stores and more people ordering items online, it's given rise to a very specific type of thief, the porch pirate. In today's video, we'll see many different types of porch pirates who get arrested. But what happens when they come face to face with the law? Let's find out. On October 16, 2023, in a suburban neighborhood of Ohio, police were called to investigate a package theft. The woman who got her item stolen claims the package was sent to the wrong house, and the homeowners are refusing to give it back to her. This is... And I wouldn't care, but it's like $400 worth of stuff. So it won't show up, but... So that's their front porch. There's the package, okay? With that little black thing right yeah. there. And so um, you can't get to the front porch because it's gated off. So I went to the side door and I knocked. Mm -hmm. A younger girl came to the door, probably close to my size. Um, and I asked for it. They, they gave me all these, uh, we weren't even home, blah, 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 blah. And then she, she said, okay. I said, well, I'm going to call the police. She goes, well, you can call Victoria's Secret. And I never once said where it was from. I just had a package. Okay, well, what's inside the package, if you don't mind me asking? Um, so, Is it like a whole laundry list of things? Oh, yeah. With delivery services now taking pictures of item drop-offs, you can't lie about a package being delivered to your address. After speaking to the alleged victim of the crime, police must now confront the person who supposedly has the stolen items. Let's get their side of the story. Hello. I'm all right. Um, so she has a package that got delivered here and she went back. Um, so she has pictures that the package was in fact delivered here and yes. it was sitting right on your porch. That's what she said. Okay. I was in bed till 12 o'clock this afternoon with my dogs and as you can see they're very vocal mm -hmm. and they were in bed with me and my husband was not here. Okay. So I believe if the picture shows that the package was here. I believe her. The picture shows that it was here but I don't do not know anything else all right, who all who all lives here my daughter me and my husband okay my would you mind bringing them out also my husband would you mind bringing them out also Pardon? would you mind bringing them out yeah, also I so I can explain the situation to them also they were in Rocky River <clears throat> okay went to get her. does this woman really not know anything else or is she lying the police have to investigate who else lives on the property to assess who could have had access to the stolen items. Hello. Hi. So does anybody have any idea about this package that got delivered here? There's a package 100% got delivered here. We have She has pictures of it. We know it got delivered here at some point. No, when we got home, there was nothing here. And she, I don't know, answer this question. No, I was in bed till now. Okay, so what's going to happen is I'm giving you guys the opportunity if you guys did take it to just give it back because if you don't i'm going to do a theft report and all three of you are going to be listed as suspects so it's going to happen there's a ring doorbell right over there so i'm going to go knock on that door and figure out who came out and picked up that package and whoever did that's going to get charged with a theft okay the officer's giving a chance to these people because if they can just give the items back he won't have to make an entire police report and officially arrest someone it's a lot to go through over stolen lingerie so either we give it back now, nobody gets in trouble, or I figure out who stole it and they're gonna get charged. That's what we're doing. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's how we're gonna handle this? If we find it and we know who took it, it will be returned. And that's not how we're handling this. If we find out who took it, they're being charged with theft. Okay? We're not doing this, oh, you got me, I'm on camera, I took it, I'm gonna give it back now. They're gonna be charged with theft. I'm, I will arrest them for theft. I'm not playing around. Okay. So either give it back now, or we're doing. I'm listing all three of you as suspects. Okay. Okay. Driver's license. All three of them. 
So far, the possibility of naming them all suspects doesn't seem to stir any immediate confessions. But the officer knows it might instill enough fear for something to happen. And he's right. I'm kind of waiting to see if they come out with the object and be like, oh, you know, here it is. Your package is on the way out. All right. Do you hear that? Yes, thank Perfect. you. Perfect. I'd rather handle it this way. I totally agree. And then not to... Uh, it was opened. D not to doubt anything, uh, but I'm going to have her check to make oh sure yeah, all no, the contents are in there. She definitely okay. needs to do that. Okay, perfect. And if there is anything, I mean, we can compensate if that's what needs to be done. That will be between you guys at that point. Some people don't agree with threatening arrest. But sometimes it really works in situations like this, when people come to their senses, realizing the possible harsh consequences of their actions. Now, the police and the victim have to assess what state the box is in. We had nothing to do with this. All right, thank you. She's gonna make sure that all the stuff is in here? Yeah. I'm gonna go sort of in my trunk. Okay. I'll just, I'll stand by just in case. Who took the package? You took it? Yeah, like it was on your porch and you just grabbed it or like a mistake or something. Well, so I just grabbed got it by a mistake by my husband and I'm the one who had it on the floor and I never even noticed the name. I thought it was my daughter. I didn't even look because she does a lot of stuff I don't know about. At first, this woman said she had no idea about the package, but now she seems to know that her husband took it in and she herself apparently put it on the floor. Have you noticed the daughter hasn't come out yet? Maybe she's too scared to face the consequences of her actions. We did not do anything, Shady. I just said here without looking because I know I didn't order it and I just threw it at her because I didn't look. When she heard that, when she heard that they would, would go to jail, no way, or that I would, no way. We weren't going to go to jail for her. All right, she's missing about five things. Uh, I can ask her. They're all different itemized things, so I'll have to. Tell me. Well, I think you need to go ask. I suspect whoever has them knows what fire they are. Yeah. Okay. Because they're all different things. Okay. So it, I would, I would have to verify with her exactly what okay. things are missing because right. they're all different. If she could tell me, just go check with her right now. I understand this mother wants to protect her daughter by trying to play it off as a mistake. But unfortunately, her daughter's going to have to face the real world at some point. If they can't find the missing items, it's going to become more serious, and they're not going to like it. She said that she has nothing else. You need to call Victoria's Secret on that one. And I believe her, because I used to order from Victoria's Secret all the time, and the whole order did not come. Because okay, she needs to check with them. She needs to check with them. I used to order blue rules and he would get this off. So, so that's what you think is most reasonable? Yeah. That, that, that's what makes the most sense to you right now? Yeah, it does. Because she was scared. Right. That, that she, she, didn't, she didn't steal it? No. I mean, today was separate. separate. The victim not only has her electronic shipping receipt, but she also has the itemized company receipt inside the bag. It's pretty stupid to continue denying you don't have any other items. All you're doing is showing you don't care enough to make things right. I understand that, but I have actually been okay, sent. It doesn't matter. What they're going by what? Okay, I know that. Megan said that she didn't have it. Okay, let's talk to Megan. Where is Megan at? Why, why are we even talking to you? Parents can speak for their children only if they're minors. So if Megan, the daughter, is an adult, there's no reason she can't be out here answering the police's questions, especially if she's the one responsible for creating this entire situation to begin with. Okay, here's, here's what we're going to do. We're going to give her one chance to get those other items. If not, we're hooking her up, bringing her in. I'm not playing this. That's all the oh, come on, she said. I have all those in there. Victoria said I missed seven <clears throat> items of myself. All right, what's your name? Megan. All right, Megan. You have one chance to get the stuff. You have five items still missing. Or okay, you want to jail if for they're fast. missing the stuff, ma'am, what do I do? What about Victoria's Secret? I go to jail for a year and package having missing items for Victoria's Secret? That's why you don't take in packages that don't belong to you. I did it! I threw it down to her. And yeah. I didn't look at the name because... I, I ordered stuff too. Wow. I can understand accidentally taking in a package, but wouldn't you notice if the items weren't the ones you ordered? The most notable thing here is how entitled and disrespectful this woman is. And now 
because Victoria's Secret's gonna miss it. I mean, yeah, I had seven items. That's fine. Basically denied taking it. Perfect. All together. Calm down. So you denied the whole oh, thing. We're also. Wait, yeah. Right. I wasn't even here when it was thrown out there. made the bag, and I made sure no one threw it. No, David did No, wait a minute. David threw it on the floor. I she had just got out of bed, the area. and she wasn't even here yet, and I threw it downstairs. I didn't even look at the name. Because she, she knew that one. I had ordered Victoria's Wait. Secret, too. Wait a minute. They didn't even cooperate, so you threatened to arrest them. Does that yep. sort of look like yeah, a that's, that's, that's right? exactly what happened. I didn't want my husband going to jail for something I didn't Well, somebody's going to go to jail, because you guys obviously aren't fessing up and giving all I the items back. The yes, I, I'm book. giving all the items back. Gosh. Everything that, no, hang on. Everything We've got five more that are missing. Okay, I'm telling you, Victoria's Secret is missing that, not me. Judging by this woman's loud and erratic behavior, she's either under extreme duress or there might be some other issues going on. Having a reaction that's this explosive towards police officers is just showing the police that you don't care. They've done that. You can check my underwear drawer, you can check everywhere. I have nothing but Victoria's Secret. I get it if it was like one thing, but five, come I on, gave come me on. seven items. I will go down there. Seven items. Sir, I will go down there and look again if you want me to. I, I sure hope there. you do. This is your last chance. If you don't come I'll up with those five there. things, you're being arrested. Why am I being arrested? Because we're I not playing this game. Missing. She's not playing a game. I'm not playing a game. I don't. I, don't, I, don't, I, don't I, have a, I have a kid. Wait a minute. She's got a daughter. And I have a new job. That has nothing right to do with this. Yes, it does. Yes, I it don't want to go back to jail. I'll go to prison. Regardless if you have a daughter or not, it's deplorable behavior. Megan says she's already been arrested before, which is even more concerning considering she wouldn't cooperate or at least speak to the officers respectfully. Things then take a turn quickly. Do you understand why people are, I mean, I there's, stop, I'm talking, talking. would you, you all stop. shut, shut up. the f*** up? You, separate. you separate. come down here. Megan, come down. Stay. No, I'm not come coming down with cops. Come I don't trust you. No, you are. Why, why, why are you going to jail? Stop. Come on. No, wait, don't touch me. Don't come touch on. me. Why am I going to jail? They're not arresting her yet. They're just detaining her because they can see her behavior is erratic and the cops want to get the situation under control. This screaming entitled thief has no one else to blame but herself for how badly this situation has escalated. Oh my god! Stop yelling. Stop. Please leave me out of handcuffs. This is not better for you. I'm seriously not having an anxiety attack. Ma'am, I don't have your order! Take a deep breath. Shut up. Stop. I don't have the order! Where's the rest of the sh I don't know. We I've missed seven me. items out of my order. I, this is not a first for Victoria's Secret. Stop. Stop. The cops understand when someone's placed in handcuffs, they become desperate. So now they have to figure out how to de-escalate the situation. But now the police find out something new about this woman that explains a lot. I, a I just bit. got shot. Just, just let him talk. I have, I'm bipolar and I'm anxiety bad. Yeah, I have not taken breath. my medicine. Take a deep breaths. don't want to be in handcuffs. Please, I'll be calm. Okay. Please. We were past that. Brown eyes. She doesn't have a license. No, I say. A valid ID. Looks like she's got a warrant for shoplifting out of Georgia. It's out of the pickup. It's out of the pickup. They don't want it. It's out of the pickup. They don't want you to relax. 10-4. It's out of the pickup. They don't want you. Are you gonna be? Don't scream! I swear, if you take the same off, I'll be cooperative. No, I'm, 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 no, we're past that point. You're just being detained for a second. It's not a big deal. Just take a breath. Notice how all the cops' voices are now slow and calm. They're setting the example for how they want the tone of the conversation to continue. After the woman explains she has mental illness issues, they must be careful how they handle the situation. So let me get this straight. There's 15 <laughs> items that were handed to you or thrown to you. No, the they were down there when I got home. I understand. I was just now, told to put them what, away. I didn't. I just threw them out. Listen, all I'm trying to do and right now is honestly, he showed up first. You got to talk. You got. I really didn't get to hear the whole thing. I just want to hear a little bit more. Like, there's. That's some, all I know. Just, See, I was just told to. Items these really hurt my wrist right items here. These items were gone through. Stand up for Yeah, I was. Uh, so did you like? Oh, did you open them up and look through them or something? Can you please see you take them off? I'll just, be. I'll be cooperative. Just don't pull on them. Here, can these please be taken off? This see, is just ridiculous. Relax, relax just like that, you'll be fine. I cannot relax with it. You know what kind of experience I've had? If the package was taken only hours ago, it's strange that she doesn't know where the five items are. Police know that when someone's this desperate to get out of handcuffs, they might try to run. Since this situation's becoming very serious, police have to talk to the neighbor to see what she wants to do about it all. I would have never got it back if you guys didn't come here, so she would have freely taken my stuff. 
Right. So yeah. So your options here is you can you, you, you can go with theft. And the best evidence we have is that she took those items. Or if you think you've got most of it, and you could get you know reach out to Victoria's Secret, explain the situation, and be able to replace it. I have no idea if they would do that or, or whatever. But I'm just from if yeah. I'm in your shoes, those are my two directions I can go. Uh, you just gotta tell us what you want to do, so we know what to do next. And by conference too, because this girl is trouble. My question to you is, um, do you order stuff from Victoria's Secret frequently? Yeah, I mean, I yeah. How often do you have problems with them not fulfilling the order? Never, okay. and never. I mean, I, I, I'm an avid online shopper, so you know, I mean, I yeah. don't. Usually, there's not stuff missing. The woman has a tough decision to make. Does she let this woman get away with what she's done without consequences? Or does she tell the officers she wants to press charges? I mean, I think that she took my stuff and that she was going to keep it. Obviously, I mean, I said, I'm going to call the cops. Mm -hmm. And they, I mean, there's no way that you open up all that stuff and you, you don't realize what you order. Right. So, so she did it. Yeah, I want to press charges. Just stay sitting. <laughs> I know. Just take a breath. <laughs> Just take a breath. We'll figure it out. I We're promise you, Great Tory's Secret has missed seven eyes of my, my shit before. I'm not lying. Over this. Well, that's what we're figuring out, right? I'm gonna so, go back to I'll go to prison. I'm on felony probation. Oh, I see. What? No, well, no, I'm actually, I think I'm off that. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, yeah, I'm off. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, yeah I'm not. So. <laughs> I'm so well, used to, I'm so used to being on probation. That's so bad. Seems like she's having a hard time keeping track of all of her run-ins with the law. This thief's extreme mood swings are something the police are going to have to get ready for when they tell her the woman wants to press charges. You're coming in for theft. Why don't I, mom, 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 go check my drawer. Go check my drawer. No, can I go check my drawer? I can. I promise you, I can probably find oh, them. Oh, you remember where it's at now? No, I promise. Yeah, I probably. I said they're deep. Let's go look. Can you take this out? Let's go. No, you're staying in the cuffs. Let's go look. Can you go with her? Mom, yeah, can she go with me? Let's go. We'll all go. How about that? It'll be a big family Come party. Come on. Stop yelling. Please. Please. No, I asked him if I could go I'm in there. Look. The same volume she's talking. Okay. No, Megan, calm down. She wants to take. Can you let go of me, please? No, we can't. They want to take me in for theft. Can you let go of my arm, please, so I can look? Can you open? This one? Yeah, it's an antique. Uh, that's not mine. Mom, you didn't look, because there's, there's stuff in here that's not mine. Now this woman knows exactly what belongs to her and what doesn't that quickly? It just goes to show the officers that she knew she was lying the entire time and thought she could get away with it. Five, five more items, you know what we got there? It's four. Is there something else? No, there's nothing else. I swear to God, here, check in. So there's just one item missing. What, how, what, how did you know what she's sure. missing? What is she missing, exactly? Does she have the order? Are you guys serious? We're there's, just yeah, like, she's bipolar, sorry. There's four items here. Anxiety, That's, there's one missing. He don't want to touch that shirt order. or something? The woman got four more of the items back, which leaves one unaccounted for and she decides she still wants to press charges. Knowing how the suspect will most likely react to this news, the cops have to prepare themselves for anything. All right, so she still wants a desired prosecution for the one item that's missing. Are you kidding me? I don't have but it. The thing is, we had to go through all of this just to even get the package back. But I told her where to check. No, I told her where to check. No, don't take me in. No, wait. What if we, no, what don't if let go. Oh, God, I love it. Well, we're past that. Ma'am, ma'am. What if I pay? Help. What? Help. You're hurting what me. What if I paid for Mom. the item? Mom. 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 No, hey, I let go. Okay, how, what is going to happen? Is this the underwear you gave me, Mom? For how long? Ma'am, is this well, an after if it's a pink pair? I don't know. Ask her we'll if it's a pink pair of underwear. Ask her, I'm wearing them. Oh, oh my God. bitch! My bitch, ask her if it's a pink pair of underwear. I'll take them off. She just mom! No. no, mom, you gave me a pink pair of underwear. Does that come in the package? Did it? Yeah. Yeah, it did. Ma'am, I have them. Can you please tell her? Ma'am, I have them. Can you please get my underwear? Mom, put him in my room. Ow, you're stepping on my foot. Mom! 
It's hard to tell what the mother knew or didn't know, or how much she's been protecting her daughter this entire time. What do you think of this situation? Do you think the woman deserved to go to jail for this? Ultimately, the woman was charged with theft. Get ready for our next porch pirate, because things get crazy. As you may know, theft is at its highest during the holidays, so it's no surprise that on December 23rd, 2021, officers responded to calls from multiple neighbors telling them someone was stealing packages. So they start getting witness statements to try and locate the alleged thief. Him picking up the package was, is on our ring, and I have to see how, how I can share that. Okay, I know if there should be a... There's a little package and he put it under his shirt and then he walked away. Okay. He came several times. At one point, he tried to get out of the car and walk away. Okay. And he does not... He shouldn't have a key to your house. No. no okay. No, we don't know who he is. Okay. Have you ever seen him around the neighborhood? No. We're, we're not there that often. Mm-hmm. We just moved in a month ago. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. One of the times that he came over, the last time, he went and he went towards our backyard. And he didn't go into the backyard, but he went all the way up to the gate. This is important information because this lets the officer know this is not just someone looking to steal things, but also trying to break into people's homes, which is, of course, an entirely different charge and way more serious. Police get a hold of the ring camera footage to check. The police locate the suspect and detain him. They want to make sure it's the right guy and they need to figure out where the stolen items are. Will the police get a confession? Somebody please call my mom and let her know that I'm going to jail for some reason. Hey, no, don't touch me, don't touch me. Stand up. Don't man. touch me, bro. Dude, why are you Stand making up, it harder than you I'm have not, to? What do you Stand mean? Up, I can't. Well, put your legs through your arms. Ow! I'm trying. You're not trying. I am. Ow! Stop! What, what do you mean doing? stop? I'm not You're doing anything. My hips. Fight. No, my hips are f***ing wide. Ow! Ow! Put your arms through. I'm trying. Ow! Holy s***. You, you, you're going to be able to sit down and put your, your legs back in? I don't. I can't sit down. It doesn't look like this suspect's gonna go down easy. When faced with arrest, most people will try and do anything to get out of the situation. But they don't know it only makes their life worse and incurs bigger charges against them. Ow! What are you doing? I, I can't. Ow! Holy f***. Oh my god, can you just uncuff him for a second? There's no, three man, I'm not gonna uncuff it. Holy s***, that hurts. What is your issue? What do you mean what is my issue? One, I'm going to jail for no reason. Two, y'all are okay. trying to rip my going to jail. hands off. Stand up or we're going to get a van and shove I'm you into a van. I'm trying to. Oh my God. Can I sit down real quick? God, because that hurts. Fix your Can hands. you just walk that way? Like that? <laughs> yeah, sure. Right, why not? Fine. Perfect. Let's do that then. Oh my God. This is crazy. This is crazy. Holy f a lot of times, people try to get out of handcuffs for all sorts of reasons, but mainly it's because they want to run away. But no matter what gymnastics positions this man puts himself in, the police are not going to let him go. You got anything on you, man? Yeah, I haven't searched it. Oh, wait. Any needles or anything? Uh, no. Yeah, because I f shoot up. It's easy, yes or no. Do you have something, yes or no? Whoa, that's f it. I mean, I got to search you, dude. You don't have to grab my dick. Stop. No, you don't have to, what are you doing? I'm Stop not, restraining. I'm not restraining. My arms are tied. are handcuffed under my legs. How the f*** am I restraining? Huh? How am I restraining? Stop fighting. How am I fighting? I'm not restraining. I'm not fighting. I'm not doing anything. Many times, suspects like this are on drugs or alcohol, and it can definitely get dangerous if the suspect becomes violent or has some sort of reaction while in police custody. I don't care what it is. Alright, we'll keep grabbing it. It might get hard for you. You might like it. Sexual harassment. Broke it off my ass hole. He just tried to put his finger in my ass bro. Broke it off my ass hole. Hey, will y'all, hey, will y'all videotape this? These bullies are trying to stick their finger in my ass. 
Nothing. I don't have anything in my head. Come on. Okay, man. so they gotta search you. Mira, mira, come on now. Mira, come on, come on now. I think what that thing. I am. I am. Search your car really well, and then we're just gonna pull it. Yeah. Alright, that's fine. If there's anything in that car when we get out, it's yours, though. You understand? That? No, hell no, it ain't. Y'all just search me twice. Notice the man has white liquid coming out of his mouth, and he's covered in dirt. It all points to signs of someone who's not in a great mental state. But in order to load him into the car, they have to get him to release his pretzel position. All right, we're giving you fair warning. I can't. Ow! Ow! Listen, 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 man. I, I'm, I'm gonna turn you around on. and sit on your butt, okay? Let me, let me get my arms. Oh, God damn it! How the f even? I don't know. Oh, oh. God damn it! Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. Hold this fucking crap. Now search me. Now search me. Ain't nothing in that car gonna be mine. Search me. Ain't nothing in that car gonna be mine. Why are you tightening the cuffs? What's that for? So that way they don't slip all the way around and hurt you more, they, man. Oh my God! If they could have did that, they would have been did that. I want you to search me because I'm, I'm, not, going to. I'm not taking responsibility for anything that's in that vehicle. Seems like it was pretty easy to just move his hands back. By law, if you're in possession of a car and someone searches that car and finds illegal items inside, you're responsible for those items. Yeah, ringing the doorbell. Right. Kick your shoes off. Let the lady know that, there's, that she's got three packages that have been sitting outside her front porch for four days. Alright. Buck goes in first. That's what I'm going to jail for? Letting her know that she's got packages that have been outside her door for days now? Go back that way. This is great. This is awesome. Playing the innocent victim. It's a tactic that never works. He was, quote, just letting the woman know she had packages. A piece of advice here. Don't lie if you know you were caught on camera. It just makes you look stupid. <laughs> Stop kicking! I'm not kicking! I ain't kick sh I don't f***ing understand this shit. I don't f***ing understand this shit. I don't f***ing understand this shit. I don't 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 understand this shit. Does he not understand that stealing items from people's porches is illegal? And that when you do something illegal, you'll be arrested and taken to jail? Playing dumb can only take you so far, and when he gets to a holding cell, he pulls more stunts. What though? I didn't burglarize anything though. That's, dude, that's the court. I don't get it. These officers right you here. You told me that I could talk. You told me I'd be able to call my mom yeah, when yeah. I got when we got and here. And you started getting super nasty with yeah, that. me nasty, nasty words. Because you just burglarized me for no reason for something that I didn't do, Other bro. This, this, he did so she goes to a call, finds probable cause for anybody for whatever reason, and then other people go pick that person up. I don't, never happened. I don't get it. Somebody or, like her went to a call, found probable cause to charge you with a burglary. I don't get it. Right? I, don't I don't looked at it, seen you had a warrant, so I came and picked you up. I don't get it. It doesn't, doesn't make sense because somebody like her is not going to find probable cause for a burglary for what I did because I rang a doorbell and I spoke to the lady and told her that I was from across the street. The waterworks are definitely not going to get him a get out of jail free card. Based on the evidence and the witness testimony, using a key to try to open someone's front door without permission is enough reason to be arrested. That's a serious and scary crime. There's, there's video. I'm not me others. taking anything. There's no that's video not, of me taking anything. Okay, I'm not going to go back and forth. But the video shows that you did take something. Okay? Alright, go ahead and get up. It doesn't. I brought something there. I brought something. I brought a weed okay. eater there. Okay, turn around. Yeah. Alright. Hey! Stop it! Stop! Stop. <laughs> what the hell? Act your damn age! <laughs> He's acting like a spoiled toddler that didn't get the toy he wanted. Maybe that behavior works at home to get his mother to let him do whatever he wants, but these guys are the police and they don't mess around. No, I just got out from doing my third prison bid. I did not verbalize Can you stop? The man's repetitive words and different voices are either because of drugs or a mental health issue. The cops think the situation's under control, but when they open the doors back up, they're faced with an entirely different situation. Down. 
Whether this man's faking it or not, it's unfortunate this situation had to get to this point. The man was charged with burglary of a dwelling, resisting an officer with violence, and escape from transport. Stick around because you won't believe what the next porch pirate does to escape. On a Friday afternoon in Linwood, California, police were notified of a female and a male who were stealing items from people's porches. Police successfully locate the individuals and take the male in the passenger seat out of the car. But when they try and confront the driver, things turn very scary. You want to go home? Unlock the door so we can... Get that! Get your... Get your... I'm scared! I'm scared! Unlock the door. No, no. Oh. Oh. Get. Hey, he just hit. She just hit 118. 108. 108. Eastbound drawer. Eastbound drawer. Central send me the ambulance right now. I got him. I got him. I got him. Wow. That's not only terrifying, but insane behavior. It's important in situations like this that police officers confiscate the keys from the driver so they can't do exactly what this woman just did. And now, the fate of this police officer hangs in the balance because of porch piracy. Hold on, hold on. Don't. I don't even know who she was. Central, have to step it up. She just ran over 118. Shut the f up. Y'all the ones selling the f packages. You fing lying. Keep your balance horns, no doubt. Man, this gotta just help me with my car. 108, stay call with them. Call the ambulance, call the ambulance. We got him, we got him. That him. bitch hit her. Don't move, dude, don't move, don't move, don't move. Don't move. That bitch just ran him the Dude, he should've shot her ass. I knew he should've shot her. And he gonna say he don't know who she is. She just picked up, y'all the ones still in the package. Them bitch hit her. He's heading for him, going with Lansing. The witness is talking about the male suspect who's been laying in handcuffs on the ground behind them this entire time. Over the radio, they're sending units out to pursue the female suspect. But the first priority is ensuring the police officer's okay. You need some water, anything, man? God damn. Don't move, don't move. Chill. Hey, 170, you available, come here. That just literally. Hit him. She was on some drugs, man. Yeah, she, yeah, she's yeah. yeah. Him too. Yeah, I know. We we got him. I can tell how she was moving. So she they literally, they the ones. Satchel, see if Village or Glenway has a unit to come over here. Listen, that package was on the porch when we came here. Now it's on the fucking. Uh, First of all, they pulled in this driveway. Nobody even live here. It's very important for the officer who wasn't hurt to be a strong support system and keep calm when talking to the injured officer. This keeps the situation under control and makes sure the injured person does not start panicking. You got hit pretty hard by a girl who took off. Hey, how you doing? I'm, 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 I don't know. You don't know? My well, legs my hip. She, How's your head, neck, and back? I don't know. I wanted to tell you the house is trying to move. Stay with him. Six oh six six eight four. Head over. Um. Okay. Okay, okay. Hey, hey, he's going to Linwood. I'm back down here. Uh, oh, she, sore. Okay. Okay. she hit him head on. Yeah, two, 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 two. No, the car hit him head on. And I'm going to go on the road. With a possible back or neck injury, it's extremely important they transport him safely so as not to cause further injury. They ask the officer to move his toes to make sure he doesn't have nerve damage that could cause him to become paralyzed. Oh, why didn't shoot him? Sorry, Sergeant. <laughs> Dude. She's, she's cracked out, man. I know. He did nothing wrong. It's normal to think about everything you could have done to avoid this situation. Well, what do you think? Do you think the officer should have shot the suspect as she was driving away? While the paramedics attend to the officer, they also have to deal with the other suspect. Well, I can show you the house where we was at. Where she was at. Come on, man. So you're in Stand up. Stand up. I promise you. I can show you the house down the street where she said where she was hanging out with her three friends. Hey, everybody has their last name. Car Central down there for Sue. They struck 118. He's right behind Cynthia. me. Cynthia. Hey man, if you want to kick it, my camera's gonna work. All right. 
Melissa Cynthia is just what you should have named was, bro. You want to see the house? You got, you got any, you got any needles on you? No, 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 no. Or no. crack pipes? No. I don't, I'm not, she, she's got the crack pipe on her, bro. That's why so many people warn others to not do drugs. It's a slippery slope. And once you get addicted, it's easy to fall into situations like this. And after hitting a police officer and then running away, the charges the woman will face when they catch her will be extremely high. What's her name? Melissa Cynthia. What is it? Melissa Cynthia. Cynthia. Okay. And it's like, you know where that PK pantry is? Yeah. Behind there is where we was hanging out. It said it was a friend's house. What do you got in your mouth? Nothing? Nothing. Who's a friend? Uh, her name is Katie and Doug. These two dudes. They were all smoking shit and sniffing. All right, see it. Okay. One symptom of being on crystal meth is muscle spasms. This man's jaw is clenching because he's most likely tweaking. And when you're high, it causes you to grind your teeth together. Hello, he said you I got one in custody on the wrap, though. I ain't hear you. One female white. He's about wrapped. Hey, I ain't hear you. One female white in custody. Message received one female in custody on the east side on I-80 ramp. Thank you. That's your phone and note. I dropped my body camera for sewing. Is it sewing? Taser deployed. 10 taser deployed. You dropped your body camera in the foot pursuit. Over the radio, you can hear they caught the woman, but they had to chase her by car, foot, and had to deploy a taser. These officers can rest easy knowing that she's in police custody and can no longer hurt anyone. When another officer arrives, we learn more about what preceded this almost deadly situation. I'm just worried about him. I don't know. Talking and stuff? Yeah, he's talking, but he's he's, he's hurt, dude. She, I mean, right, right. I mean, the neighbors even ran over and they were gonna beat him up for us. Where the hell? Where the hell? Right here, in, in the yard. So we had him blocked in the driveway. They're they're backing just in. Pulling in the people's yeah, driveways. Yeah, yeah. So he had him blocked. So it was right next to the squad car. You see the tire marks? Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna photograph it with my uh, camera. It's extremely important the police gather all evidence so they can later use it in court. This will no doubt be one of those cases that the entire community and police department will be paying attention to. We have a no chase policy, but I'll take paper for this. Actually, this isn't even included in our policy, but they can rob me up for that. I said, keep chasing them. Good chase. Huh? Anthony, he, we all got here at the same time. Boss, she was taken off. I was chasing, I, I was running after her. He came right behind her. I said, keep suing her. Sometimes police departments have a no have chase no policy for, for certain crimes. And it's usually to avoid situations like this that can injure police or cause innocent bystanders harm. What do you think? Should the cops have continued to pursue her? The woman was charged with attempted first degree murder and aggravated battery of a police officer. The man was charged with theft and had an additional warrant for his arrest. The officer that was hit by the car was released after being treated for his injuries. This next porch pirate seems to be very cooperative at first, but that doesn't make him any less guilty. In February of this year, police in Groveland, Florida received word that a man was stealing items from a porch. They then confront a suspect matching the description. You got an ID on you real quick? Yeah. Do you mind if we talk to you real quick? Criminal 88, touch yeah. the okay. You got any weapons on you, man? No. Okay. okay. Do you mind if I pat you down? Good. Okay. Um, I got my, uh... Came in on county and said they uh, transferred I brought a sword with me because it'll be okay. selling. Yeah. But I don't have any other weapons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You're just going to pat you down make sure you don't have any. You got a language barrier yeah. and dog it. Thanks, sir. What did I do? Nothing. It's very important that the police search the individual for many reasons. But right now it's to see if he has any stolen items on him, or if he has any other illegal items or substances. Keep your hands up. Oh, what you got in here? Don't reach. Keep your hands up. Can I reach in there? Yeah. Oh, is this is a crack pipe. No. No. Do you mind if we reach in and get it? No. Okay. Go ahead and get it. This is some stuff okay. I found it's in the garbage. Go ahead and put your hands around your back. Now that they found something illegal on the suspect, they're able to detain him for further questioning. And if we know anything from our last videos, it's that these type of suspects do not like to be in handcuffs, and anything can happen. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna put you in the back seat of my car. Why do I you have to get in the back seat? Because you have a meth pipe on you, bro. 
Okay. So let's go on and have a seat. What did I do though for you to stop and do this to me? We were here on something else and I asked you if you mind to talk to me. You said no. Okay. Now that they have the suspect in the back of the squad car, the police can now freely search his vehicle and not worry about the suspect running away. But a woman approaches them and interrupts their search. Do you know him? Yeah. Okay. Who is he to you? Boyfriend. Your boyfriend? Okay. Um, we're just trying to, we saw him hang out here. We asked him if we could talk to him and he had a little bit of dope in his pocket or a, a meth pipe in his pocket. So we're just going to hang on him and I need Thank to you talk much. to you about the vehicle and all that stuff. Okay. 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 The police are making sure to keep things calm and cooperative because they don't want to tip the porch thieves off that they know way more than they're letting on about both these people. The woman allows police to search her vehicle for the stolen Nike package because she thinks they're only there for her boyfriend. Tell, tell me what happened today before you came to work. Today, like, he called me a stupid bitch. I told him, I said, look, that's the last thing I want to remember. My, my days here on my death, days for cancer. That's the last thing I want to remember is somebody calling me names. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, so I, that happened, and then what happened, did y'all do? I moved out of the house. Okay, and then what did you do? I like went this? to my mother's house. Okay. Other than that, I came straight to work after going to my mother's. Okay. What time was that? I went to my mother's probably around 10 this morning. As soon as I woke up, I got called a stupid bitch, so I'm like, you know what? What time did you come to work? Five. Your shift started at five? Where five were you p.m.? There's a large portion of the day she cannot account for before her shift, and they need to interrogate her further about her involvement in the thefts. So you were at your mom's house between 10 and 5 p.m.? Absolutely. Okay. Okay, so... I haven't left my mother's house till okay. the time to come to work. So what if... Okay, Yes. Okay. So what if I told you I have video footage of you taking some packages off a porch in the city of Rowan? I would say it's not me. It's okay. Me. It's not you? What about yesterday? Yesterday? Yeah, what were you doing? What did you do yesterday? Um, yesterday, we rode around him looking for a job. Other than that, pretty much nothing. Okay. I mean, I went to did a couple you... drop boxes. Drop boxes where? Yeah, it's like where they put the clothes outside. Okay. Okay. And if it's on the outside, you're able to have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, not, I'm not worried about that. Right. Uh, what, what about... Yesterday, what, five-ish? Like around 5.30, 5.30. We went garbage hunting. This woman is clearly in denial. I say this over and over again. If the police ask you questions, don't lie. It just shows them that you aren't trustworthy. Let's see what happens when the police show her the evidence. You wanna go ahead and show her what Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah please do. If you just want to be honest with us, I mean, we're just trying to figure out what's going on. I'm being honest. I went garbage hunting. Okay. I mean. Okay. So you I never went on anybody's porch. porch. You no. never. You okay. never really. Listen, never I'll be on, I'll be honest porch. with you. All right. You can tell us the truth. I'm All telling right. you the truth. I never went on anyone's Lisa, porch. I have you here. Oh, this is Show you. me the footage that you have me going on someone's porch. You're going to. that not you? Because it looks like you. We know it's you, Lisa. Do it. Now the excuse is he made her do it. She doesn't look under duress to me, and I have a hard time believing someone forced her to become a porch pirate. She just wants to blame it all on someone else. But the police are ready for her lies because she doesn't know that they know the truth. Okay. You changed up real fast. And I didn't want to. So he made you do it? Did he make you do it today too? No, I, I didn't do anything today. Okay. I came well, straight to work. I, I, have, I have the same vehicle. My mom. Listen, I have the same vehicle. I have somebody that matches your description doing the same thing on doorbell camera. We, I, look, I Not understand. Today. That I swear to God. I went from that place to my mother's if, and I've stayed at my mother's. Ooh. My mother has camera footage of me being at her house that whole time. Does she? Yeah, she has to read the Why it's the same vehicle? I have no right idea. But, I had my car but with he me. was with you when you did it the other day? When he made me do it yesterday, yeah. Go ahead and turn around, put your hands around your back. Can, can I go get no, my purse? Can you guys let my...
Some people think that if they blame someone else for their actions, then the police will have to let them go. That's not how the law works. It doesn't matter even if someone told you to do something. You're still the one that did it. You committed the crime, you do the time. Because some packages were stolen. Do you understand that? For kids. So you want me to have sympathy for you. Is there another point? But you can't have sympathy for the kids. But you took their coat, you took their package. And you told do you want to stuff her for? in your car? Yeah. So that way we can... Yeah. The packages, the clothes? Um, real fast, well, I'm sorry to interrupt. Did you put anything in here illegal? Because I saw when we came out here and you came back there, you went right back there and you started putting stuff in your purse. So the ibuprofen's the in there belong to my sister. Anything else? Gave it to me. Anything else? Meth, meth. Officers know drug users like to hang out together, and they want to make sure before taking her into custody that there isn't anything else she's hiding. We know what was happening, okay? So again, that's why you see all the observations there. Okay, so there's meth in here. How much? Um, okay, perfect. All right. And that's what you wanted to put in there when we told you? No, I actually just walked in. The lady okay. would have told you that I stuck in there. The police want the woman to tell them where the stolen boxes are so they can bring them in for evidence. And if they're unopened, they can return them to the rightful owners. Back to the question, what were the packages? I, I, left, I left everything in there. Where, where, where are they? Where is the It's thing? where we're staying, 209. They're in that house? They're outside that house. All of them, the one from yesterday and the one from today? Yes. Okay. I didn't have any today. I haven't well, you been just said today. yes. You but just I haven't said been anywhere yes. today. Call my mother. Ask my mother. I just Probably asked you if like, both of the packages from yesterday and today. But I didn't take house. anything today. I haven't been yes. anywhere today. Because of the drugs they found on this woman, it wouldn't surprise me if she didn't realize she'd already told the police she was involved and forgot. Do you think she's lying? When they take her to the squad car, that's when the woman's behavior gets more erratic. We don't have a female officer, man. So, so, take a so second no to listen to me. No, because no, 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 no. I, you guys are being rude to me. Hold on. Hold on. I just asked if I could walk my car. That's all I did. No. So, so, real fast. Because again, he was still in there with, with the uh, paraphernalia in your car. So again, I got You guys can have the key. I just wanted to see if I could walk it. So, so hold on one second. Are you gonna say? Why don't you walk it over there? But right now we have no females on ship. Okay. So, right now, he's going to search you. He's going to use the back of his hand for our policy. You're he's not allowed check to do that. Yes, it's against are. the law. No, it's not. So, he's going to search you. So, you can be cooperative or you can I'll be cooperative. I mean, I don't have a problem That's fine. It's all on camera as well. That's okay. fine. If you're going to argue with a police officer about the law, you better really know the law. And this woman doesn't seem like a law expert. When will people learn that there are cameras watching almost everything we do right now? Although that might seem scary, it definitely catches liars very quickly. On January 6, 2023, the Palm Coast, Florida police received a call about a man that had been going through people's porch packages and had stolen water bottles. When the police arrived, they catch the suspect in a very incriminating act. Did you call? Do you live here? Okay. Any chance you were out here a little bit ago? Okay, is it alright if you come down I can talk to you? The male suspect says he was just taking a walk and was trying to get back into his daughter's house. Well, I guess that's one way to re-enter a house, but obviously we're not buying it. And neither is the officer, since none of the neighbors say the suspect is from the neighborhood. Do you have any ID with you? No, sir, I don't. I'm upstairs. What's that? I'm upstairs. Okay. You got no weapons on your own. Right? No, sir, I don't. Is it okay if my partner pats you down when I get your name? You may. Anything on your stick, we pick, we poke me? No, sir. Any explosive bomb missiles? No, sir. And what was your first name, sir? Ricardo Gonzalez. And this is your daughter's house, you said? Yes. Officers want to remain calm, so the suspect keeps cooperating and doesn't get scared enough to take off running. The officers first need to find out who they're talking to so they can run a quick ID check on the suspect and determine what he's really doing in this neighborhood. Uh, you say you just took a walk? Yeah, I went down the ladder. I can get up. Was there any chance the ladder was from a neighbor's property? No, sir. No. Someone came out and said something, and I told him who I was, the king, and, you know, okay. what not. And that was it. Two seconds. Was there a chance, did you see anybody else out here? 
No surgery. Not a big deal, obviously. No, I didn't. Okay. I uh, looked at it and whatnot. Well, what, there the was water? nobody there. Yeah, but I didn't take it. He took it okay. back inside. And someone did say I could have it, but when he came out, I left it alone. Said so you can have the water. Yes. This suspect seems to be exhibiting behavior that most psychologists would call paltering. Paltering is when someone uses a little bit of truth when telling a bigger lie. Police are well aware that compulsive liars use this tactic in hopes of misleading the police. Police said B-E-Z-T. I'm not sure how to spell her last uh, marriage name. Okay. They, as in there's more than one person. Or her and her boyfriend. What's his name? Jose. Is that who has the Benitez last name? What's wrong? No, I just hope you didn't What do you mean, set you up? No, I'm just saying, because well, I was pulled out of the news. It's a bee, you know, it's a bread and breakfast. I was supposed to come there and whatnot and stay with them. We had the key, the window was already open, so I went in, yada, yada, yada. And here we are now. Why the hell would you use the window? Because they said they didn't have keys because everyone's gone. Okay, let me get this straight. His daughter has a married name he doesn't know how to spell, but then he later calls her husband or boyfriend? Maybe I can buy that mistake, but what I don't buy is getting a ladder and breaking into a house at night. So why are you concerned that your daughter and her boyfriend set you up? No. That's what she said, right? Are you worried they set you up or something? What's the matter? No, nothing. It is what it is. So, I don't really believe the story you're telling me is 100% truthful. So, why don't we start over? No, that's where I'm at. There's no proof of that. What's your daughter's name? Marlene. Where's your daughter live? I don't know. She was out here. She met me out here with a boyfriend. Where are they at now? They want to get some food for me. Okay. Where does she live? Her boyfriend. Do what? Where's her boyfriend. Where's her boyfriend live? I have no idea. I'm coming from Okay, let's, Daytona. You're coming from Daytona. Okay. While one of the officers goes to the car to check the man's identity, the other officer has to keep the suspect talking. Keeping the man talking also keeps him from running. It also hopefully allows the officers to continue to poke holes in the man's lies. What are you walking up here from Daytona for? Uh, to get out of Daytona. Okay. So you decided to sneak into a gated community and enter a house that doesn't belong to you? Yeah, uh, but it's very to rent it out. Come on, man. You, no, think, this, you, like you think this is my first day on the no, job? No, 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 no. Not like that. Not that big. I mean, I'm going to tell you right now, I don't believe a word that's coming out of your mouth. I saw you walking on A1A about five hours ago. For a cop, it's a balancing act between putting pressure on the suspect and simultaneously making sure the situation doesn't escalate. I'm just trying to clarify what I got here, right? I got to come out, I got to make sense of what we got. Absolutely. You guys didn't have the keys. You, your daughter, your friend. Um, so, luckily we had this ladder at this bed and breakfast here made entrance through the window and in that time they decide to go get breakfast yeah Best. okay what are they driving a Ford or something a Ford right. you don't and you couldn't spell your daughter's last name oh Another tactic police use is to repeat the previous answers a suspect has given them to point out the areas they know might be lies. They also want to see how the suspect reacts to those answers, as sometimes they come up with new details that point them in a more truthful direction. Would you agree this is kind of unusual? Hell yeah, believe me. What's your daughter's phone number? I don't know. Yeah, how'd you get in touch with your daughter to be able to come to this bed and breakfast? And how did you make those arrangements? Using someone else's phone. So you called your daughter using someone else's phone? And what number did you dial to call your daughter? I 
I'm not ready to get angry. It's too good. It's good. It's good. Sounds like a guilty conscience to me. Maybe this man doesn't have the mental stamina to keep lying anymore. But if he wants to get arrested, he should just confess and make everyone's life easier. Based on the story you're telling us, why on earth would we take you to jail? Why would someone go to jail for going to bed and breakfast with their daughter? I don't know. That's my What's that? How do you think? Mario? Who's that? My brother. Okay. I didn't know Why that. Why are you getting angry with us? I didn't know that was your brother. I just, the way you said it, it just seemed like I was supposed to know it. So I just, I just didn't know that. So what, what would Mario be able to help us understand? Because it's the first I'm hearing of Mario. This man is really not making any sense. Instead of just confessing to what he's done, he just seems irritated that the police are talking to him to begin with. The police still don't know who this man really is, and they really want to locate his ID. Let me ask you this. You told this deputy that your ID and your wallet's up in the, in the house, wallet. right? Oh, your ID's up in the house? I have an ID card. And it's in the house? So when we go in the house, we're going to find your ID? Where is it? It should be in the book bag. Where? Inside my book bag. Instead of the quiet, cooperative man he seemingly was before, this suspect's attitude has taken a full 180. He knows the officers are on to him. He just doesn't want to give them what they want. But the officers are not backing down. Of course, when we go in there, there'll be some luggage. Your daughter's luggage, your luggage, maybe her boyfriend's luggage. My book bag, a few things that I have, and that's it. And their stuff should be in there too, I'm guessing. No. Why wouldn't their stuff be in there if they're staying here for the weekend or something? Mm -hmm. I just feel like if I went with three people, the other two people would have some things there. You know what I'm saying? Are you getting bored of this? They're gone. Yeah, I understand. They went to get breakfast. Where are they going to get breakfast? So they just leave you in a place that they have no keys to. They have nothing to do. You said she read it. Right? She read it for you. She it. Well, that's what you told us on camera, that she rented the place for you. The officers have had enough of this man's lies. Nothing he says makes any sense, and everyone, including himself, knows it. Someone breaking into a house at night is a scary thought for homeowners. Thankfully, the cops caught him, and this porch pirate got what he deserved. He was charged with two counts of burglary of a dwelling, criminal mischief, and petty theft. We saved the best for last. Our final porch pirate is another holiday thief. On December 18th, 2021, the police were called in Athens, Georgia. Apparently, an individual was stealing packages from a doorstep. Based on the description of the suspect and the vehicle, an officer pulls him over. Hey, how we doing today? Hey, we're doing pretty good. How you doing? Doing well. You got your driver's license on you, sir? Yeah. And can I ask what you're doing today? Um, I'm driving home. I just got back from work. Okay. Driving home? Yes. Where do you stay at? And you said you're getting off work. Where's work at? So what are you doing over here then? Um, I'm driving through. I got to meet a friend um, right at Five Points, and then I usually drop off stuff. We're doing a, a secret Santa kind of deal, so I got to go get Condor chocolate. Why don't you stop back there? Back here? Yeah. Because there was somebody pulling up in front of me, and I was trying to make sure that I wasn't, like, getting in anybody's way. Nobody was pulling up in front of you? Well, you stopped, turned on your hazards, and then I passed you. The officer uses a flashlight to see if any of the reported stolen items are visible in the back seat. This is called the plain view doctrine, and this allows officers to seize evidence of a crime without a warrant when the evidence is clearly visible to them. All right, dark hair, black covered mask, black t-shirt. You wanna go ahead and step out? You can leave it on, off, however you wanna do it. I'm just gonna roll this up so it doesn't uh, get all wet. Okay. Well, let me tell you what's going on. Okay. So you're well aware. We have lots of video footage from people stealing packages. Um, you're wearing exactly what they just described as a theft that took place three, four minutes ago. Oh, wow. And ago? yeah, Jeez, no. yeah, black shirt, short sleeve, black mask. The photos that we have from the ring cameras look exactly like you, and you're driving the same car with the same chrome outline on the windows okay. as what we had. 
So right now you're fitting our suspect description very well. You're in the area and it just occurred and you stopped in front of that other house that had two baggages on the front porch. A face mask is not enough to cover up your identity, especially if your car is also visible on the camera. I mean, it's brazenly stupid. And now this kid's going to have to face the law. So therefore, we're going to investigate this a little further. We're going to figure out what exactly is going on. Okay. And um, we're probably going to end up searching the car, your car, to see if the package is in there. The one that was just stolen. So do you have anything in the car that I need to know about? Or do you want to go ahead and come clean and say, yeah, I just took that package off the porch? Or is there anything you want to say to kind of defend yourself right now? Um, well, I will say I did take a package. Okay. Um, on my house just a little way back there on the ways yeah just a couple minutes ago right yes mm -hmm. um, do you still have that package in your car yeah okay sounds good go ahead and put your hands behind your back real quick okay. As of now, the man's being cooperative. Because the suspect's being detained, the officer reads him his Miranda rights and informs other units of the pre-arrest confession so they can come search the car. So, like I said, we have a bunch of different uh, video footage of somebody that looks an awfully lot like you and the vehicle that matches perfectly to everything that we have from ring cameras and stuff. Mm -hmm. So with that in mind, is there any other thefts that you have committed within the past couple days? Not that you're aware of? Okay. And if we go through your car right now, we're not going to find anything other than whatever you stole today, correct? Okay. Well, yeah, I don't need your permission at this point. That's a lot of stuff for uh, just one porch. Oh, that's a lot of packages. We'll be taking all those. Well, you don't know what's in the box till you open it, so. Oh, yeah, he knew what was in that box. You're right. Basically, all that is is that a detective that has already looked at the cases that's more familiar with them, because I'm not, um, they can actually ask you questions that are related to it instead of me just spitting out stuff that I know nothing about. Honestly, like, I do want to talk to them. Okay. I don't know if I just do be able to help or anything like yeah. hey my guy uh, be honest is that the only house you, you went to honestly i because i've got several different addresses right um, here. I, I don't want to say anything okay. the suspect want to say doesn't want to talk anymore is it because he knows there's an avalanche of evidence coming his way? The police must now search the entire car and bag all relevant items to be taken into evidence so they can later be used in court and they find some interesting items. I mean, they brand new. Ain't got no mud, no dirt, no nothing. I would think that would probably have popped yeah. out of a package too. Take them. Go. Not use stuff. We'll take all that and put it in evidence too. Good job. Anything yeah. unopened that no, look new, we took. No. Credit, card credit cards, licenses. No, not that we haven't found anything like that yet. We took everything. So. Yes. Lipstick? You think this is taken too? That's new. It looks like it. Hold on. Yeah, that's cool. So we'll take this too. Oh, you don't think that's his lipstick? Uh, it might be, if you want to ask him. <laughs> now that the officers have taken all the suspicious items, they transport the suspect to the police precinct in order for a detective to interview him. And this is when he explains to the police what motivated him to become a holiday thief. What's going on, man? Why are you taking people's packages? I mean, that's that's the main thing is why. Because you know most of the time it's like dog food and shit, right? Yeah. So are you down on your luck? Are you, uh, I mean, what's the deal? I don't know, it's hard to, I mean, it's, I guess it's not hard to explain. Um, the biggest thing is like, I have to afford school. Okay. And you know, I just am struggling and. Oh, I mean, that makes sense. So you're, it's a financial thing. You're looking for stuff of value. I don't know. I. Have you ever been in trouble before? No, I'm like, I mean, not great student, but like good student. A lot of people go through hard times, but that doesn't give you the right to steal items from innocent people. Based on what he's already lied about, I think he has way more to hide, and this detective is going to find out what it is. I did a real quick look, and there's stuff in your car from four different houses, packages, and there's mail too. Are you taking out of mailboxes as well? I don't know. Okay. I mean, I mean, so, I mean, I let me let me show you this. Oh, let me show you a couple things. 
I mean, have you seen the videos? Have the officer showed you any videos yet? I saw one of the videos. That's yesterday. That's you, is it not? I mean, it looks just like you. So that's you. Um, let's see, where, there's one more on here. Not everybody has a ring camera, but they're they're kind of they're becoming more and more common. Yeah. So there's that one, and there's this neighbor's app, and people post videos on here. This right here, I mean, right there, I I can tell that's you just just by the hair alone, man. So we got those two. Um, we got the one today. Is is there any is any of the stuff that you've been stealing from these mailboxes at your house? What was that? Is there anything at your house from these mailboxes? So everything should be in your car. Nothing else. Um, is anybody else working with you or are you just doing this alone? No, God no, I'm by myself. What this punk doesn't know is that the cops are already working on a search warrant for his apartment. So he can lie all he wants now, but the truth will eventually come out. The suspect is questioned further about some specific items they found. So I know the packages are from porches, but what about the mail? Are you checking people's mailboxes too? That's fine. Um, let me ask you this. Have you stolen anything out of a car recently? Um, no. Because we had a girl's laptop stolen from her car the other day, and it was pinging. You know you know how Apple products work? It was pinging right there at your house. I, I'm just now putting all this together. When we search your house, are we going to find that girl's laptop? We might. Okay. Another girl in that same area had her... Um, debit card stolen and someone tried to use it at an ATM. No, I'm, well, I didn't know. Is, is that going to be you? No, I don't. That's you, like... You didn't try to use anybody's card at an ATM? No, I would never. Okay. Um, but we might find that girl's laptop. Did you take it from that car yourself? Yes. Okay. Is that the first time you've ever taken it from a car? Yes. He thinks it's awful if someone tries to use a stolen ATM card to get money. But it's okay to break into someone's car and steal their laptop? And the reason the officer is asking about the mail letters is because opening personal mail is a felony charge. And the federal government takes that crime very seriously. You're down on your luck, so you're taking packages. I mean, have you sold anything yet? No, I, that's the thing. I don't, I had never really wanted to sell anything or anything like that. It was just, it's like Christmas time and- You're gonna re-gift stuff? Potentially. Okay, but you haven't sold anything yet. Is this just something you did at spur of the moment? It's... It was honestly like I saw a package and I was like. <laughs> How long have you been doing this, man? Not very long. It was pretty a long. week, two weeks. Maybe like a week. So other than that girl's stolen computer, are we gonna find anything else in your apartment? That anything else illegal? Sure. No more packages. All right. Plenty of thieves say this isn't something I normally do. But if you're sitting in a police station for a crime like this, chances are this is exactly what you normally do. The officer arrests the suspect and sends a unit over to search the man's apartment. I'm not Clark County Police with a search warrant. Clark County Police, search warrant. Anybody inside, let us know now. We're going come back and get the bags. Clark County Police Department, search warrant. Clark County Police Department, search warrant. Anybody inside, let us know now. Do we know which warrant room is his? Mm-mm. Clark County Police, search warrant. I guess we can probably leave that open, huh? Clark County Police with a search warrant. If you're here, let me know. When officers finish searching the man's apartment, they find more Amazon packages, laptops, coats, a liquor bottle, and many other stolen items. Thankfully, these police officers found this neighborhood criminal, and other families were saved from having their items stolen. This holiday Grinch got charges of porch piracy and theft by taking. From stealing holiday gifts to almost deadly attempted escapes, we hope you enjoyed our list of porch pirates that get arrested. Thankfully, they all got caught and justice was served. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you'll be up to date on all our exciting videos. Thank you for watching.